Another story that parents will certainly want to hear, the mo the, with most students in the area now back in school, a reminder for drivers to slow down. That's right. It's something top of mind for many Fairfax County families after two students were hit and killed by a speeding driver at the end of last school year. Jess Arnold spoke with a parent putting out that call. She joins us now in studio. Uh, Jess, we understand that that mom actually lives near the crash site. Yeah, which is on Five Oaks Road and Blake Lane. Her son actually walks to school every day right on that sidewalk where the students were hit and witnessed the crash that day. Now, as you can imagine, it still affects him as the memorial there serves as a stark reminder of the potentially tragic consequences of speeding. 90 miles per hour in a school zone. Fairfax County Police shared this post Wednesday. Now that young driver faces a reckless driving charge. I thought this is crazy. Fairfax County parent Dawn Staub was also struck by this August post from police. 400 tickets issued on Fairfax County Parkway in one day. One for speeding over 100 miles per hour, where the limit is 50. I don't know what mindset you're in, but we just all need a reminder to slow down. She thought back to the June crash that left two Fairfax County Public School students dead and one injured. Police say the 18 year old driver had been speeding and is now charged with involuntary manslaughter. It's such a vivid memory. One of her four kids walks to school every day right where the crash happened and witnessed it all. To see in his eyes that just he knew he came home and the first thing he says, I think they're dying and just to have him describe it. It still gives me chills. Just think of it. According to data from Fairfax County Police, they've issued more than 5,600 speeding tickets so far this year, on par with last year at this time, but actually a decrease from what they saw in 2020 and more than 6,500 by the end of August. Yeah, I think that we've gotten accustomed to uh, the last two years, uh, less traffic being on the roads and people have been driving faster. And now that uh, COVID is slowing down, hopefully, uh, school's back in session, somebody's coming in, there's going to be more cars. Staub believes the major lesson is for parents. If so many people want to blame the children, blame the children. And I take a step back and a lot of times our children are modeling our behavior. That if I am modeling that behavior of driving 10 miles over, 20 miles over, Mm, maybe I need to rethink that. I need to show what I need them to do. Which is slow down. We just need to pay attention. Uh, the speed limits are there uh, for a reason. Now remember, kids are back in school now, so there are going to be slower speed limits, a lot more stops. Sergeant Hamilton says look out for all of those and do not pass buses when that stop sign arm is down with the red flashing lights. That can actually be considered reckless driving. Larry, Annie, back to you.